I am Robert L. Reed. I'm the founder and president of Public Invention. If it's not obvious, Public Invention is a nonprofit. We're a U.S. 501c3 public charity, which means your financial gifts may be tax deductible. And what I'd like to do now is talk about the Free Spirico project. So this is the formal initiation of the Free Spirico project. And I know there's nothing more boring than having someone read something, but I've written this one sentence manifesto that I, I'd like to just read to you. The COVID-19 pandemic has demonstrated a clear and present need for a complete free Libre, open source, easily repairable, widely usable, safe and effective respiratory support medical ecosystem. Um, now, public invention, one of our mottos is to do everything in the light. So the Prospirico project, of course, exists at GitHub uh, for us. You can find it there. Oops. It's um, about 11 pages long. There's, there's a fair amount of detail in there. And in fact, we're writing a grant proposal, which is also um, freely available that you guys can read there. Um, now, the big question you should be asking as a software engineer or an electrical engineer is why do something big when you can do something small? It, it, there's no reason to create a grand system when you can make components that can be composed and recomposed. So why talk about an ecosystem? And the reason is because the problems are so similar in the respiratory support area that there are tremendous benefits from sharing and standardization. From an engineering point of view, interfaces matter more than implementations. And examples of that are the modules within Apache or electric list inside Emacs. Um, what we want to do is to have Free Spirico define the interfaces between the boxes and then have the entire global humanitarian engineering community build the boxes. This is a, a very simple schematic diagram of what we're talking about here. On the left, you have an air drive. Um, Polyvent is our air drive. It's a bellows-based air drive. But there is a different air drive inside RespiraWorks. There's a different air drive inside um, OpenVent Bristol. You have to produce air. From that, you can make O2 concentrators, ventilators, BPAP machines, CPAP machines, pappers, even bag valve mass monitors. All of these have more in common than you might imagine. And by defining standards for the representation of the quality and performance data and the test data, which is done with the Ventmon, which Ben Coombs designed with the help of uh, Loria Clark, this nice little box that you've seen several of the projects already using, which measures pressure flow, temperature, humidity, et cetera, um, live and sends it to a, a data cloud to support telemedicine and cooperation uh, over the internet. You can build all of these machines with synergy. And that's really what we're aiming for. VentOS, which is a project of helpful engineering, not public invention, although I work on it, is very similar in that it's meant to be a universal platform for respiration technology. This is an example um, that Eric Schultz uh, would be very happy with. This is a model of every ventilator. Every ventilator has an air drive, which goes into a sense module of some kind, and then goes into a patient. Now, when I say ventilator, I mean primarily non-invasive ventilation. It's been pointed out previously by Florin that invasive ventilation is a very difficult to deploy technology. But non-invasive spontaneous breath support is easier to deploy. However, you need something like the Ventmon to detect the lowering pressure, which uh, is caused when the patient attempts to initiate a breath. Um, but if you have a sense module, uh, as um, Open Vent Bristol has, for example, then you can support spontaneous breathing, which makes it far easier to deploy, especially in a low and middle income country. The controller is very similar to Vent OS. Um, we, we also have efforts underway to make a user interface. Now, at the end of this conference, I'm going to ask for money, not just for public invention, but also for helpful engineering, um, M19, uh, RespiraWorks, all of, the, all of the projects that are not associated with this. We are going to apply for a grant for Free Spirico. 
we want Free Spirit Co. to become like the Apache project. Um, but money really just makes things easier and makes you go faster. We have already made very important parts of Free Spirit Co. And we're going to continue working on those things and nothing can stop us. The polyvent is our air drive. The ox is a functional oxygen concentrator. Vent OS is a controller. We've defined PERDS, which is the Public Invention Respiration Data Standard. Um, and I would like to invite other nonprofits and for-profit firms to participate in Free Spirit Co by manufacturing our uh, products. There's nothing stopping any of you or anyone else from taking this product and making it and selling it at a profit right now. You have to obey our licenses, of course, but that those licenses don't make money flow to us. They simply mean you cannot monopolize it and keep someone else from making a vent line. Um, I'd really like everyone to start using the public invention respiration data standard. Not because it's perfect, but we can evolve the standard, but because it is a standard which supports cooperation between um, teams. And sharing data, sharing test data, sharing clinical data is incredibly important. Um, and so I, I recommend that you do those, those things. Okay, allow me to see how I'm doing on time. I'm almost on time.